video, I'm gonna explain you the band uh, band stop filter. It's also called notch filter and a twin key filter and yeah, stop band reject filter. Okay, this is how the that means in this filter what we analyze means is so we can yeah we can reduce that means we can uh, stop certain band of frequency. That means if you want to uh, stop a certain frequency, that means yeah let let me take an example for that. You in our orchestra video some external noise is coming. You want to stop that frequency. Then you can use this filter. Okay, and such kind of in equalizers and dampers and then yeah amplifiers such kind of where you want to amplify certain frequency that means some kind of power amplifiers as a class A class B as a class C. But whereas if you if you use this is an this is a huge application in a very huge application in a class C that means where you amplify the certain frequency in a class C. Then let me explain the design of it. Okay, this is the design circuit and this is the open okay. Where I am used, this is in a voltage follower. That means it's just as a buffer. I used as a buffer, okay. And then this is a C1 I designed for that 0.01 at a 2 kilohertz cutoff frequency. And then the design some criteria said there. You have to take the double of this frequency, uh, sorry capacitance, and then whatever the rate is, R1 like we take is R1, R2, and R3, and you are R1 should be is a twice of your R2 and R3 and R2 and R3 should be equal. That's our design unit as I designed in a yeah, band pass and high pass second order those. Okay, from design I got these values 7.9 kilo ohm R but we won't get that. So in a practical case that's why I used 8.2 kilo ohm standard. Okay, let me explain the yeah, frequency spectrum. Okay, in a frequency spectrum, what happens? You will get in a negative region, negative region frequencies. That means negative range gain. That means you are uh, this is voltage follower, right? Whatever you are given input, that should never process your output. Ah, uh, sorry, your output never process your whatever you are given input. That's what you are getting. If you take another log of that, that means like 20 log, yeah, AB you get almost uh, below zero okay and where you want to take a lower cut of frequency upper cut of frequency is where you get the 3 dB gain okay 3 dB for the 3 dB gain falling that's your lower cut of frequency in the, this circuit for I got this value is a 500 hertz and then the, the yeah, upper this is a upper frequency and you should take always uh, yeah, and this is uh, about rising frequency, right? You should take after your cutoff first cutoff frequency. This is your center frequency which you was used by 2 kilohertz, okay? And then this is the source falling after a first frequency, cutoff frequency, and this is a completely zero, and it is almost as close to zero. And it's not, yeah, it's going on negative region, it's not zero, it's going on negative region, okay? And again, it's not increasing, increasing, then it remains constant. At a yeah, oh, one okay. At the 3 dB gain, we have already discussed in so many videos, you get a 0 0.70 times of your voltage gain. This is about the band stop filter. Yet, we will see that there's a band pass filter in a practical case, and then we will analyze a low graph. Then, we will conclude the yeah. So let's come back to the practical analysis. This is how what I have used the uh, 741 op amp, and this is the voltage for our pin number two. I give directly given to the output. Okay, and this is the uh, R1. Yeah, this is the uh, R1. This is a four point yeah seven kilo ohm. Okay, and then this is the uh, C1, C2, and this is uh, two times of C1. Okay, and then let's we analyze the frequency ranges and voltages. Okay. At 100 hertz, we can see that it's almost a, yeah. Let's say input is a input is a 1.96. Okay, that means you are getting a output also 1.96. Okay, I'll increase the frequency. So at a, yeah, we can take the 500 hertz. So we can see that. So as a frequency increases, what happens? See, this an input is a 1.92. 
output is a 1.48 so almost as decreasing right at a 500 hertz this is my lower cutoff frequency okay and then as I increase increase we can see that that's a 5 yeah in a 1 kilohertz we can see that is almost a 9 yeah, one volt this is 1.92 yeah, input output is a 1 volt okay as I increase the frequency at a 2 kilohertz we can see that it says 720 millivolts almost all decreasing this input is output you can see that okay now after my cutoff frequency so let the increase the frequency okay is uh, uh, oh there's a 3 kilohertz we can see that this is a 920 millivolts after the my father yeah short with me center cutoff frequency it's not increasing right let me increase the frequency range okay that means in terms of kilohertz okay that's in uh, say 3 kilohertz it's a uh, 5 kilohertz at a 5 kilohertz this is my higher cutoff frequency right we can see that as almost 1.32 volts we are getting okay for input is 1.88 so as i increase the frequency increase the frequency at 10 kilohertz we can see that it's almost uh, increasing increasing it's a 1.84 input and the output is 10.64. Uh, as I increase the frequency like this, say 20, 30, okay, around 30 kilohertz, at the higher frequency, we can see that as the almost again it starts remain, yeah, remain constant with the input, whatever a given input that is coming exactly output is a 1.80 output also 1.80 at uh, 30 kilohertz frequency this is how this again follows as you increase the goes on frequency frequency increase increase it so at a certain frequency that means at a higher frequency what happened you get drop off drop of the amplifier that's because of the op-pom that means as you are increase that's the op-pom open loop yeah close loop yeah gain start decreases that we can see that it's a see how such a range is that it's almost a yeah, we can see that's a 137 kilohertz. So, so again, it's gain start decreasing. So that uh, until that frequency, almost all my gain is constant. So thereby we can conclude that it's almost only rejecting certain frequency from 500 hertz to 500 kilohertz. That's we will see this in uh, graph and we will analyze. We will get a good idea, guys. This is a graph what we are got from the yeah, practical values we can see that it's at a very low frequency this is a very low frequency is below 100 hertz so we are almost all getting input here uh, is equal to output if you take an analog graph that is equals to zero right it's a zero line indicates that okay and then as you go on increase the frequency what happens is gain start decreasing right oh that's in a negative region because the input is less than output oh sorry so output is a less than input yeah that's why we are getting it in a negative region okay and then at this 500 yeah this is a 500 kilohertz so practically we are getting is a price 60 hertz okay so we are getting almost a zero zero minus uh minus three that's a plus three db okay that's the first cutoff frequency and then yeah the next cutoff frequency is from five five kilohertz that will from 0 to this is a higher frequency from yeah from 0 to yeah, minus 3 minus 0 that's almost all uh, that's in a minus plus 3 db this is in a minus 3 db sorry this is in a minus 3 db because this is a minus 3 db minus 0 so higher frequency minus lower frequency that's becomes this is a minus 3 db this is a minus 3 that's a minus 3 db minus of the zero that's becomes a plus because the rising sweep right this is a falling sweep so we can see that at a two kilohertz or oh, at a two kilohertz it's exact there two kilohertz so that's almost a two kilohertz so we are getting a very low very low gain that's almost a it's a minus okay nine db so let's we will calculate the roll off I just calculated roll off for octave. For octave, I got that from yeah, 
for octave we will calculate that so almost as we will get say, around yeah 4.8 db per deck octave so that i was not calculated in that if you calculate you will get definitely get around this value okay and then the next is a bandwidth how much is a bandwidth we rejected that from yeah that's a lower for cut off frequency to higher cut off frequency as the my higher cut off frequency is a 5 kilohertz so that's a 5 kilohertz minus 560 hertz so around we are getting 4.44 kilohertz that's our band this is how we will calculate uh, i think you got much more information from this session video so this is how we will calculate roll up and then yeah frequency spectrum all those things uh, thank you for watching yeah this video please subscribe the silicon brains and share it thank you for